Well, here we are at Eurosatory 2018. Um, it's billed as being the biggest Eurosatory, and it's certainly on a Wednesday, which is where we are now, it, it does still feel very busy. And there have been more expanded areas in the show dealing with cyber, for example, cyber systems, cyber defense systems, um, cyber protection systems. And we'll talk a little bit, a bit about that in, the, in a minute. There are still a lot of new vehicles um, and some are quite surprising to look at. Behind me, what you'll see is the KMW and Nexta Defence Systems Euro Main Battle Tank. This is very much, of course, a symbol of Franco-German cooperation. But it does have more practical applications than that as a main battle tank because the Leclerc turret is lighter than the original Leopard turret. So at a combat weight of something like 62 tonnes, this is the kind of tank that perhaps could cross some of the old rickety bridges in Eastern Europe, whereas perhaps a, a, a fully blown Leopard might, might have a problem. So that's an interesting development and, and it will lead on to a Franco-German main ground combat system around the 2035 time. Looking further down on this stand, what we can also see, which is very interesting to look at, uh, and you can see that it's almost two vehicles in the, in the one vehicle, if you like, is the amphibious protected vehicle tracked concept study uh, from uh, KMW and Nexta Defence Systems. Now, this vehicle has only been finished this year and it hasn't even started its trials yet. Those are about to begin. Um, but you'll see that it's a, it's a fully fledged tracked vehicle um, at the one end, it looks very much like a, like a patrol craft, and that's because it gets driven one way on land and the other way in the water. So the speeds there are 70 kilometres for land, uh, but in the water just over 13 kilometres an hour. Um, the engine is centrally located, but that still means that you can get a crew of two and eight dismounts in this vehicle which makes it a very, very practical amphibious capability um, under armour. Looking further afield, what we can see in some of the uh, vehicles that we've had at the show here are a, all kinds of innovation. It's, it's not so much people are inventing stuff here, but they are optimising optimising to the very max the capabilities of what they have, the technologies available. And so, for example, with a lot of light tactical vehicles, you're seeing a maximization of the vehicle ergonomics to the extent that the front consoles for the driver are becoming more like cockpits with the driver sentry located for maximum visibility and maximum ability to conduct a tactical task with payloads and, and crew, uh, additional crew, um, mission modules to the rear. Beyond that, um, it was inevitable that with the uh, recent year's growth in mini, mini UAVs um, and drone technology, what we're seeing at Eurosatory this year is a prevalence of counter drone technology. Um, whether it's sensors to actually detect drones in highly cluttered urban environments or whether it's complete all-in-one systems to actually detect um, counter drones by jamming them or in some cases hard kill systems to actually take the drones out with a laser for example um, and we're seeing we're seeing a lot of those this year um, both for civilian applications and for defending military installations for example.